What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the Vice Vita Commodore 64 emulator. This emulator is pretty cool, and um, it's basically the old Commodore 64 console over on your PS Vita. Now, it does emulate the games pretty well. I was already testing it out in this video. However, a few games I just couldn't get to run at all, so just keep that in mind. It is in very early stages, so obviously they're going to have more updates to this emulator, basically to make it perform a bit better. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and install it so we will have to use vita shell so just go ahead find vita shell and go ahead and open it up the vpk um, is actually on github so we're going to go to github to install it so let's just start vita shell when it loads we're going to press select we can actually connect our ps vita to our computer or if you want to use ftp you can so let's go and do that and then we can copy across the vpk file Okay guys, so over on the computer, I'm going to leave a link to their GitHub in the description and you guys will be able to find Vice Vita. So this is the latest version. Now it has steps for compiling it here, but it has actually already been released into a VPK. So if you guys go over to the one release right here, you'll be able to find it. So as you can see, Vice Vita is currently on version 1.0 and it was only released yesterday. So I guess you can expect to find a few bugs and stuff like that, but we're gonna test it out in this video and basically see how it performs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the VPK right here and we're just going to wait for it to download. It should only take a couple of seconds. So once it's finished downloading, go to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find it in there. So let me just enlarge it and here you go, we have got the Vice Vita VPK. So right here I've got four games from c64.com, that's probably the best website to get these like uh, Commodore 64 games. Um, obviously I can't really link their site or anything like that, I don't think you're allowed to link ROM sites on YouTube. But if you guys want to download them, there's literally so many ROMs all over the internet, they're impossible not to find really. But the next step is to make a couple of file folders and these are to hold our ROMs. Now we have to name these right, so you have to right click, create a new folder and just call it Vice Vita, just like this, V-I-C-E, V-I-T-A. Now inside of this folder, we've got to create another folder. So right click, new folder again, but this time you've got to call it Games and it's gonna end up looking like this. Now this is where we want to put all of our zip files. So we're just gonna cut these. We're gonna go into Vice Vita, we're gonna go inside of Games, right click and paste them in there. Now the zip file format won't be readable so you have to extract them into the D64 format. So what we're going to do is select all these, right click and select um, extract here or extract files is okay. And as you can see it's going to extract them into the D64 format which should be readable by the emulator. Some games might have errors, some games might work okay. So what we can do is go into the emulator and test these out in a minute. But first of all we've got to copy both of these files onto our PS Vita. So the Vice Vita file must go inside of the data folder on the root of your UXO. I've already tried this earlier but let me just replace it. And then Vice Vita VPK is just going to go on the root of your PS Vita and it's as simple as that. Let's go and install it, let's test out these games and let's see if they're any good. Right guys, so once we're back, we're just going to close off this message and we're going to go onto our UXO so we can install the VPK. So let's simply just look for it. Uh, vicevita.vpk, there it is, let's just press X twice and it should actually start installing, there you go, it should install very quickly and as long as we put our ROMs in the right folder, they should be able to find as soon as you launch up the emulator. So there you go, installing, just wait a couple of seconds and when it's done we can just go ahead and close out of Vita Shell and then what we can do is just simply load up the emulator and we can test out some games. Now I'm going to show you guys what happens if you try and load a game which doesn't work, um, there's kind of like two types of errors you can get it's a bit weird but let's just start up the emulator and let me show you so this is the home screen of the emulator we've got a few options right here we've got start game we've got load so save that's if you want to save your game of course we've got controls settings if you go into settings there's many different things you can change and um, basically the video the audio the performance you can even change the cpu speed which is very cool you actually press left on the D-pad every time you want to go back. Normally it's circle in applications, but this time it's left on the D-pad. Uh, we've got devices. 
So we've got reset and we've also got an about section and it just tells you about the developer that made it. As you can see, it's very new. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and load a game. Now let me show you um, what happens if you load a game which doesn't necessarily work with this emulator. Now I don't know why it doesn't work, it just gives me an error every time. As you can see, all of the games I've got are in the D64 format. These ones should actually work. Now take a look at Ghosts and Goblins. When I try and load this, oh epilepsy warning by the way, it completely goes crazy so if that warning was a bit late hopefully none of you do suffer from epilepsy but um yeah i don't know why it does this it's really annoying and um to reset it you pretty much just have to refresh the emulator so yeah i don't know why that happens um maybe i have to blur that out just in case um but yeah it's just really strange why does it do that anyway let me show you a game that does in fact work let's just try boulder dash right here and as you can see, this one loads perfectly fine, so I don't know why some games don't work and others do. Um, the Vice emulator for the PSP actually seems a bit more stable, but there you go. And um, if you guys want a keyboard, you can actually just press Start. And if you want to get back to the main menu, you can just press Select. So the keyboard does actually work. If you press start to bring out the keyboard, you can actually type in things. And I know there's different commands for every game. I think I just had to press F7 for this one. I don't know, to be honest, I literally did just spam the keyboard. So as you can see, here is some Boulder Dash gameplay. And yeah, the games do perform well. I mean, obviously, they're very, very old. Um, but yeah, they perform well and they look really good. To be honest, they probably look best on the PS Vita rather than the actual console, just because the PS Vita has got an OLED screen. Well, this one has that I'm using anyway. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. And um, yeah, it performs fine. The only issue with it is some games simply just don't work at all. And I don't know why it does that. Maybe it's the ROM. I don't know. I'm sure you can find other ROMs on the internet that seem to work. But there you go. That is pretty much it. Quick video. Simple emulator. It's just fairly like new, so there's quite a lot of bugs and stuff. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.